Hey what is going on everyone, Jason Iwawato and welcome back to another college advice video. And for today's video, I'm gonna give you guys 7 tips that has helped me save a lot of money while in college. Throughout my time in college and even now after graduating, I've always tried to live below my means. Personally, I believe not a lot of college students were taught in school on how to correctly handle money. And if you're still in college, I hope this video could be helpful to you in being able to save more money than you anticipated so that you can later use that money to achieve bigger and greater things. So the first tip I have for you guys is definitely to set a limit on your spending and be able to stick to a budget. So a strategy that I used while in college to be able to help set limits on my spending is actually a very simple method. What I actually do is I'll buy a really small notebook like at a convenience store and whenever I make some sort of purchase, I'll just write it down on what I bought, how much was it, and when did I buy this. So then at the end of the week, I'll just review this notebook, see in total how much money did I spend, check off all of the items that I bought that are absolutely unavoidable, and then circle out everything else in the list that are extra and I didn't really need it, so then I can review and refine my spending habits in the future. And I believe going through this whole process has helped me with two main things. I think first and foremost, when you're writing down something, you are a lot more conscious on where your money is going, so then in the future you're able to correct your spending habits accordingly. Like personally for me, before I started to write things down, I think I'll be having boba a bit too often with friends after school, however after writing writing things down and seeing how often I was getting boba just because of my notepad, I actually was able to reduce that spending down and instead I can find alternative ways to be able to still hang out with my friends, have fun, but also not get boba so often. <laughs> but second of all, I believe writing down everything that you spend could also be really beneficial in creating a budget plan that you can follow through with. By doing so for a longer period of time, you can eventually tally up all of the necessity costs that you would need to be able to comfortably live in college for a month while focusing on your studies. And that in itself will allow you in the future to be able to allocate enough money every single month on certain expenses. Now the second tip I have for you guys is a slight extension of the previous tip and that is to definitely avoid impulsive purchases. I will categorize impulsive purchases as any items that you want to buy that is on the more expensive side of things. So some examples of some impulsive purchases that I've seen my friends buy are definitely stuff like designer clothes, expensive jewelry or watches that they don't usually wear, giant plushies which I I'm definitely guilty of buying a couple every now and then, and extra tech and electronics that I definitely didn't need. So a helpful tip that I use within college to avoid these impulsive purchases is to just actually understand where the hype is all coming from. And a lot of the times I found that once I realized on why I'm excited to buy something, and realizing that I'm buying it because other people are also buying it, or when I'm buying something to impress my friends, I would then just take a small step back, not do anything, evaluate my decisions, think about if it's still something I would want one or two years later down the line, and in the end comparing whether or not I would rather have the monetary value of the thing or the item itself. And after making all of these mental decisions, chances are I no longer want the item anymore, so because of that I would then just hold off on the purchase. The third tip that I use to help me save money and college is to actually just buy refurbished products if I really need something. So a lot of stores actually will have a separate page on their website which states that you can buy an item that is refurbished or open box and I will almost always just choose that item instead. Like for example the camera that I'm shooting this on actually came from a refurbished sale. I've been using refurbished items for a couple years now and I honestly would say I don't see a difference at all compared to a regular brand new item out of the box. In the rare event that the refurbished items aren't as good as the brand new ones out of the box, a lot of these stores actually cover these refurbished items also under warranty, so you're able to just get a replacement for your refurbished items if they don't end up working well anyways. And one more thing that I'll point out is that these refurbished items will still have to undergo a pretty rigorous quality check before they can be shipped off back to you. So by just doing these small steps for shopping for essential stuff, I'm able to save a lot of money that way as well. The fourth tip I have for you guys is if you live in any sort of off-campus appointment, it's important that you be able to learn how to cook your own meals. I think a common problem that I see a lot of college students have is that they'll either go out for food way too often or order food on Uber Eats and DoorDash and spend a lot of service fees that way. I think something that has really helped me throughout college is being able to learn how to meal prep. I would only meal prep for around three to four days before making something new because I still want to be able to have fresh and delicious food that isn't just heated up from a microwave 
sleep, it is true that cooking would take a lot more time out of your day, but I definitely think this is still a very important adulting skill to have. And you could even think about it as a more creative outlet, where you can try to taste and improve on the cooking that you already do. Tip number 5 that I have for you guys is definitely be able to utilize your student discounts and any free campus resources. It never hurts to pull out your ID, take out your student card, and ask the business is there any student discounts that you guys may offer. I would say most of the times you might get no for an answer, but to your surprise a lot of businesses actually have these student discounts. They just never really advertise it. And regarding free campus resources, definitely try to take advantage of anything that you may need. Like personally, I thought it was very obvious that colleges offer like fitness facilities, fitness classes, tutoring, and mental health services. However, I was very surprised to hear that some students still pay for like a completely separate gym, get private tutoring or separate therapy sessions, even though they have all of these resources within college. After all, you're paying thousands of dollars for tuition anyway, so you might as well use what they offer, right? The sixth tip that I have for you guys is to definitely be able to try to buy things in bulk whenever possible. Something that me and my friends did while back in college is to be able to split and share a Costco card. So then in the end, we can buy things in bulk, split things up, and be able to pay a cheaper overall price than what we normally would have each buying individual items at our local grocery store. Back in college, me and my friends used to have a system when going to Costco. We would simply just text in the group chat anything that we want from there and see how many people would like to split some such things. One popular item that we tend to get a lot from from Costco is actually breakfast croissants. So we'll usually buy two whole boxes of it, and then we'll have a group of four to six people splitting up these two boxes. Obviously by doing so you are sharing a lot of expenses, and it's important to keep track on which items did you buy from someone else, and how much money in total should you pay them back. So in order to address that issue, me and my friends actually use this app on the app store called Splitwise, and it just keeps a live written tally in which anyone in your friend group can add to it. It's super helpful and it avoided me from having to Venmo request 8 different people for different items throughout our shopping trips. And the tally is live so if one of my friends pays for my meal, he can actually just add that to the tally and we basically just pay the difference between our requests. So I would say if you guys can trust each other with these small expenses, buying in bulk is definitely worth looking into. And finally for tip number 7, I would strongly recommend you guys to either walk or bike to class, or personally for me back then, electric skateboard, in order to just save on transportation costs. Because back in freshman year, I actually didn't realize how much money I was spending on boot scooters. So I will always just take boot scooters to class just to be able to save a little on time. However, it is only until a single quarter went by that I realized that I ended up spending over $350 on these boot scooter rides. These costs definitely seem very small to begin with, and I definitely didn't factor in how much these little $4 or $5 rides could add up over just a few months. Starting in winter quarter of my freshman year, I actually just bought my own electric scooter, and I was able to actually just use that for another two years to upgrade and get a refurbished electric skateboard, which it then sold off after I graduated from college. So in the end, I got to use an electric skateboard for over two years, and I only spent around $150 in doing so. One final note that I'll leave with you guys is for sure budgeting and saving money is an active process, so definitely it's just important to just actively try it out, see what sticks, and then learn and refine the process as you need to. But yeah, that is all for this video, so I hope you guys learned something new and useful. If you did, definitely make sure to leave a like, comment down below any other college advice tips that you want to see, subscribe, join the WAD squad, best squad in the nation, and other than that, I want to wish you guys all a wild day, and we'll see you in another video. Peace.